Hi, I'm talking about irritable bowel syndrome today. Uh, whenever we are not able to understand the random symptoms of any gastric disturbance, like cramping or flatulence or a lot of bloating, constipation or even diarrhea, but it is just medically labeled as IBS or irritable bowel syndrome. I really feel that we still till this date, do not understand this uh, syndrome properly. And this is just like a very general term for all of these general disturbances that we see so much in patients. Now, a lot of factors are, you know, known to contribute to this uh, abnormality of the large intestine. It could be related to the muscles. It could be related to the nervous system uh, dysfunction. It could be just simple inflammation. Various causes have been talk talked about for this condition. The main thing I feel that is related to IBS itself is the psychodynamics of this condition. I mean to say the psychological factors that a person is processing in their lifestyle, everyday life, uh, what a person is facing is extremely important, uh, you know, in this condition. Like any kind of uh, stress or any anxiety that a person is suffering from, it's very important to understand. I always feel that when we see such cases, the levels of anxiety and the levels of stress are really, really high in uh, those cases. It could be even early life stressors. It could be childhood trauma that could be, you know, in the background of such cases. Even certain uh, personality traits they have a higher tendency to get a condition like IBS. Uh, the gut of these individuals is extremely sensitive. It is related to, you know, what we call medically the brain-gut connection. With homeopathy, when we try to understand such a case, it's about the negative emotions and the emotional states that a person has undergone uh, in the past or uh, could be that is currently uh, that they are undergoing. So when we understand their coping mechanisms uh, in life in general, when we understand, are they, you know, seeking support? Are they not seeking support? Are they avoiding it? Are they in denial? You know, all of that becomes really, really important in treating such a condition. Now, I'm often asked that, you know, uh, give us a remedy uh, for IBS or give, I mean, I'm having this uh, recurrent uh, diarrhea or I'm having this uh, alternating condition of constipation and diarrhea. So uh, please note that, you know, uh, with homeopathy, it's extremely important to understand the psychodynamics of the case. And if you just, you know, look into uh, deeply into homeopathy and how we prescribe for, uh, you know, chronic states like IBS, you will understand that it's very difficult to uh, understand it takes, uh, you know, at least an hour, an hour and a half for me to just understand uh, the first, uh, the, the case details in the first session. We take that long to just talk to the patient about their past history, about their predispositions, about um, is there anything uh, currently that they are going through before we, uh, you know, can even think of a remedy for them. So I, I I wish like you that, you know, there was a specific remedy that we could take and be, which would really help states like, the, like that. But it's just it's just not possible to suggest remedies just on the basis of the diagnosis that is or the named condition that is IBS. We, we really need to dig deeper into these cases and uh, you must must seek the help of a professional if you are dealing with a condition like this. Because uh, this is a serious condition and long-term treatment with homeopathy is an extremely viable and great option for the treatment of IBS.